How can I scan implant a dentalist case? The next question is about scan technique. Recently, someone asked how to easily scan fully dental cases. A similar question was also posted right here, and I think it's a proof that an interesting wondering the you know, best way to do it. So today we will cover implant scanning of dental cases in detail. Honestly, a dental case is difficult, whether it's done with conventional or digital method. Then why is it so difficult? Number one, as you would already know, it is difficult to perform a scan without stopping in an eventual case. Since there is no specific reference point, it's hard for the scanner to recognize the location by itself. So, we need to add some reference point. Number two, basically, the main purpose of implant scanning is to record the potential relationship between the dental structures. However, for the actual case, the scanning area is too extensive, which may cause deformation. Number three, it's difficult to obtain the bite registration with accurate vertical dimension, since the occlusion of patient is unstable. When you encounter the actual case for the first time, you may be confused about what to do. That's because the this problem do not occur when you scan a partially identical case. In the past, a scanner would sometimes go off track and stop while scanning identical cases. But the software has improved so much, now the scanner can record a location with high precision. Here's the guideline for identical scanning. In an academy, posted a half a video a few years ago. The first step is to correct enough data for the Ruge area that has the most distinct characteristic. As the second step, move the scanner like a plane flying in multiple directions from the base camp and then return it. There is some difference between number 2 and 3. In case of number 2, we scan in mobile characteristic mucosa and in case of number 3, we scan the mucosa area by pulling the cheek with the light course. Finally, as shown in number 4, Scan the parietal area of a U-shaped wrist to prevent distortion. Chen is really good at doing this. Chen, could you give us your tips for scanning electrical cases? Okay, here are those three tips I can give you. First, I add some reference points at the identitious area. If you put the block bubble less on the long span area, Scanning will go more smoothly. Second, a film scanning at once without stopping to prevent deformation. To do that, I always ask another step for an assistant and perform scanning very stably environment. Lastly, in order to complete the scan at once, I prefer to turn off the Orosky function and try to move the scanner slowly. Thank you for the great tips. But there is a bigger problem other than the eye scan, right? Yes, I am scary. Scanning but actually by the registration is difficult for me. Since I don't know which occurs relation is correct. One day, there was a situation. Dr. Zhang asked me to scan to make temporary key on the day of surgery scanning. I managed to do it, but my acquisition was impossible because three were no vertical stuff. What else did you want to do me to? Oh, I'm sorry, at the time. I also didn't have enough experience, so I thought you could handle it somehow. I apologize. I totally get why you were so upset. In this patient case, I should have scanned it in advance while the patient is very adventure, but I missed it. So, I used the traditional method of getting 30 bites on both sides while the patient is biting guts at the anterior ridge. I will explain it later in picture from a later article. Getting back to the topic, 
At the time, I have to change for scan after the surgery. It was a tough situation, but I successfully placed fixed implant and completed the surgery by connecting fixed scan bodies and filling up a demand. I had to get scanned data to make a temporary prosthesis, but scanning was not easy because there was bleeding. Thankfully, Chen came up with a brilliant idea and completed the difficult mission. The bleeding area was covered with impression material, and the decode areas of scan bodies were accurately scanned. Now the maxillary scan was done almost perfectly. The next problem was how to take by the situation. There were no vertical stops, so I tried to obtain arbitrary bite data. Here is an article. The article explains how making a poly index can help record the vertical dimension of the initial cases and how the analog data can be converted into digital scan data. It requires accurate trimming of the poly by index and a portion of the cracking mucosa is exposed to record the jaw relationship. I got an idea from this article and implemented the body bite in my practice to obtain arbitrary bite rate situation. Since then, I often use the bite index on the day of surgery for these cases. Although the data obtained is not 100% accurate, as it depends on how the patient bites down. Despite the possibility of error, it's more convenient and it gives me enough information to design a temporal prosthesis. As you can see in the picture, I first delivered a temporal prosthesis for posterior piece made based on after bite weight situation. After confirming the body dimension with temporal prosthesis, I tried to obtain an accurate bite weight situation again. After the process, I could make from the restoration of the anterior area and then move on to making the final prosthesis. The picture shows that I made full use of temporal prosthesis and performed the bioregistral process and we twice to find the optimal body dimensions. I like to use this kind of step-by-step -step process to make the final prosthesis for the patient. This process may seem complicated, but this is what gave me an optimal result with high accuracy, which is crucial because there is a long span between the abutment, especially in prosthetic for the patient. This is what I've been doing since I was using computer methods, but digital technology has simplified the process. When treating natural cases, technique I introduce today will definitely be helpful. Now I briefly show you the scanning strategy for membrane cases. Getting accurate data without deformation is even harder for mandible cases than natural cases. When I scan natural cases, I read the scanner. Scan on the necessary areas. Let's look at the video. Okay. The scanning movement starts from the retromolar pad area, which has a distinct shape. With the assistant helping with extraction, I roll the scanner right over the wrist like a snake crawling. Don't forget that you are just showing the scanner, only the part you want to get data from. If you move the scanner with control movement, can either case it is not so difficult. All you have to do is to make slow and overlapping movement. Up until now, we have been talking about initial cases. As you can see in the picture, I first delivered the temporal prosthesis for the posterior teeth made based on arbitrary by situation. After confirming the vertical dimension with the temporal prosthesis, I tried to obtain an accurate bite with situation again. After this process, I could make full restoration of the anterior area and then move on to making the final prosthesis. The picture shows that I made full use of temporal prosthesis and performed the bite resistance process 
and with twice to find the optimal body dimension. I like to use this kind of step-by-step -step process to make the final prosthesis for identical patient. The process may seem complicated, but this is what gave me an optimal result with high accuracy, which is crucial because there is a long span between the abutment, especially in prosthetic for identical patient. This is what I am doing since I was using the computer method, but visual technology has simplified the process. When treating identical cases, technique I introduced today will definitely be helpful. Now I will briefly show you the scanning strategy for mandible cases. Getting a data without deformation is even harder for mandible cases than facial cases. When I scan these cases, I read the scanner. Scan only the necessary areas. Let's look at a video. The scanning movement starts from the retinular pad area, which has a distinct shape. With an assistant helping me with infection, I roll the scanner right over the ridge like a snake crawling. Don't forget that you are just showing the scanner, only the part you want to get data from. If we move the scanner with control movement, scanning in these cases is not so difficult. All you have to do is to make slow and overhead movement. So you can do it, uh, don't I mean, uh, have to worry about this. Up until now, we have been talking about these cases.